Welcome to Nepal. Behind me is Choropa, one of the largest glacial lakes in the Himalayas. It's been a bit of a slog to get here, climbing 3,000 meters with leeches crawling up my legs much of the way. But even if I was just here for the views, it would have been worth it. I've seen some spectacular landscapes over the past few days, most stunning of all being this one behind me. The trouble is, it's a pretty sinister kind of beauty. Lakes like Choropa are among the most dramatic symptoms of climate change anywhere in the world. They've been formed by glaciers like the one behind me, which are melting at the fastest pace in recorded history. This is what climate change looks like in the Himalaya. And for people who live in the valleys beneath these lakes, the implications can be very dangerous indeed. Tatapani was still recovering from an earthquake the previous year when a huge glacial lake outburst flood came rolling in from across the nearby Tibetan border. The flood destroyed many of the village buildings and this northern section remains completely abandoned three years on. People have returned to other parts of the village but with the Himalayan glaciers still melting the pace, many residents remain very concerned about the risks of a repeat disaster. on from the flood, the reconstruction project at the Upper Botakoshi hydroelectric plant is nearing completion at the hands of Chinese contractors. This wall behind me was blown out so hard that half of it ended up on the opposite bank of the river. It's now been rebuilt with a stronger design. These two gates were also severely damaged. They've been largely rebuilt and replaced. And then over here, an entire new diagonal section has been built to channel water towards the center of the dam where it's strongest. to ensure that whatever has happened before will, will never happen again. <laughs> <laughs> 